Today we will explain Educational Planning A good question to start with is, why plan in the first place? What does a university or a school get out of planning? Does it make any difference? Some will claim that they have not been doing any planning all through the years and still the school operates, runs along every year, students come in and out, teachers come in and out. So what's the great difference about planning or not planning at all? Planning is an important administrative function. To get things done, administrators must plan ahead. Planning bridges the gap between where we are now and where we want to be. Persistent and continuous executive function involving complex processes or perception analysis, conceptual thought, communication, decision and action. Planning is the design of the desired future and of effective ways of bringing it abroad. Planning is deciding in advance what to do, how to do it, when to do it, who is to do it and how to measure performance. Planning Planning is also seen as an exercise of optimization of resources. It attempts to maximize output within the given resources and ensures that the benefits are distributed more equitably among various sections of population prioritizing the activities to be undertaken. Definition Planning can be defined as a process of taking decisions for future actions in order to achieve predetermined objectives by optimum utilization of available resources in a limited time frame. Thus a precondition for planning is the existence of certain objectives which need to be achieved and constraints in this respect are time and resources. Why planning at first place? Planning is vital to all schools because it helps to build better programs for students. It does this by helping you to Decide how and where to set priorities in the use of limited human and economic resources. Decide how to accomplish not only your short-range goals, but also your medium and long-range goals. Build on the strong and successful parts of the program as well as to identify and improve the weak points. Reach agreement in the school community about what to do and how to do it. Educational Planning The process of making arrangements or preparations to facilitate the training, instruction or study that leads to the acquisition of skills or knowledge or the development of reasoning and judgment. Effective educational planning enables you to make a smooth transition from high school or military service to college or further technical education. A good educational plan will provide you and your family with a map of your future education and career goals. Types of Educational Planning 1. Planning According to Time Duration to planning according to functions. Planning according to time duration. Long-term or perspective plan extends from 10 to 20 or even 25 years. Educational planning has to be based on a concept of the future. The planners should envision the kind of society, the kind of political, intellectual and social leadership. Medium term plan usually 4-5 years is prepared against the backdrop of a long term perspective plan. It has proven operationally to be most efficient. It defines the goals and targets with greater clarity and provides a definite basis of action. 
Short term plan needs to be adopted only as an inevitable alternative to medium term planning and on an emergency basis. The introduction of rolling plan has eliminated the need for short term plan. Short term plan needs to be adopted only as an inevitable alternative to medium term planning and on an emergency basis. The introduction of rolling plan has eliminated the need for short term plan. Single purpose plan is an administrative operation which is usually adopted when particular objectives like implementing a reform measure, building an institution or piloting legislation is to be achieved. Types of planning according to functions Physical and economic Physical planning is the planning of an area's physical structure land use, communicating, utilities and has its origins in the regulations and control of town development. Economic planning is concerned more with economic structure of an area and its overall level of propriety. Allocative planning is concerned with coordination, their solution of conflicts ensuring that the existing system is ticking over efficiency through time in accordance with involving policies. Multi and single objective planning Whatever is type or form, planning has goals and objectives. Goal is an ideal and should be expressed in abstract terms, while an objective is capable of both attainment and measurement. Objective should be measurable, result-oriented, specific, realistic, attainable, and time-bounded. Indicative and Imperative Planning Indicative planning merely lays down general guidelines and is advisory in nature. Imperative planning involves specific directives. Educational planning process. Plan survey and deliberations. Definition of goals and objectives. Programs design and specification. Program provision. Implementation and control. Plan Evaluation and Plan Regeneration Statement of Educational Objectives The educational objectives must be identified and clearly stated. This will ensure that there is no confusion about the objectives. Identification of Various Activities the various activities which are needed to achieve the stated objectives must be clearly identified. Evaluation of results. Evaluation should be related to the stated objectives. Characteristics Educational Planning Primacy of Planning Planning is the first step in management. It takes precedence over all the other managerial functions. Everybody plans even though not everybody plans well. As a teacher, you plan your lessons before you go to teach them. Planning is pervasive. By this, we mean that planning cuts across all levels of management and all the other managerial functions. Whether at the primary, secondary or university level of education, planning is done. For example, the managerial functions of organizing, staffing, etc. involve some planning. Planning is mission-oriented. Planning involves the mapping out or charting of activities in such a way that it helps to satisfy human wants. Thus, Planning is goal-directed i.e. planning is directed at achieving a specified goal or a set of goals. Planning is future-oriented. Planning, as said earlier on, is a process of deciding in advance what should be done in future, how it is to be done, who will do it, when and where to do it. 
This process takes into consideration past trends and present experiences in order to project into the future. Components of Educational Planning Educational Status Supply and Demand of Teachers Educational Financing School Buildings Curriculum Development Educational Materials Expansion Models Relevance to Political, Economic, Social and Cultural Policies and Objectives Integrated Implementation Legal Basis Thank you for watching.